the internet for Tim Lou. All right, folks. I'm going to try this video, and it's going to be called How Guided by Voices Ruined My Life, and yet why I love them anyway. All right. Now, they didn't really ruin my life, but they definitely shaped my sensibilities in a way that um, probably like worked against my goals in a certain sense. And it wasn't just guided by voice. I mean, I could point to like Bruce Springsteen, Nebraska. I could point to like the first My Morning Jacket album and uh, a bunch of others, maybe even some smog. But I don't know. After watching that Watch Me Jumpstart video, man, I was invigorated. I don't know. Like, there's there's a whole like world of like, like you can get very very good, you can get very very attuned to, or you can get very very specific, or even artistic about like the world of like lower fidelity sounds. I'm not talking pan Panasonic boombox kind of stuff. That that's its own art form and it's it's related, but it's not. I don't go quite that far. But like, you can get really into that sonic world. You know what I mean? And um, I think, like, the average outside person might think, like, oh, this person doesn't care as much about the music because, you know, or, or somehow it's less serious or something. But, like, I, I almost see it as being more serious in, in, a, in a strange sense. And, man, watching Pollard in that, in that documentary, man, it really brought it home for me. You know, like, he, he heard things in the same exact way. You know, he was talking about, like, you know, early efforts. He went into a studio, and uh, it was all done professionally and all high tech, and he knew what probably other people wouldn't have known, but he knew that it wasn't as good. You know, for whatever reason, like, he worked a lot better in the lower fidelity format. There were just things that he got across that, like, he couldn't get across following the proper rules, you know? And, man, I knew exactly what he was talking about. Every every line he said in that documentary, I just got it. I just understood it. Like, that's that was just the path I had taken, you know? And I, I've heard it described before as, like, um, you know, musicians who just get used to listening to their demos or whatever, their basement recordings, they just, they start to like the things that happen, or some of the things that happen, rarely, you know, but there are certain things they like, they love, they know, oh, they, they got it, you know? But these are things that would never, never happen in a professional setting. And like at a certain point, you just only look for those things, you know, like you just get really into those things. Um, so, uh, here in Pollard, you know, watching that documentary, um, man, I was riveted. I was, and like, I just, I've just, I've kept going down that path. Like, the more serious about music, like, almost the less interested I've gotten in, like, professional sounding recordings. Now, how has this ruined my life? Well, <laughs> spoiler, it actually hasn't ruined my life. All right. Because, like, honestly, my life is pretty good. I'm kind of a fortunate person. I have to acknowledge that. But as far as, like, having my music be heard, you know, um, lower fidelity is a pretty bad approach right now more than ever because let's face it right recording equipment is uh, very very readily available so like I don't know how many albums were released last year like 7 billion I mean <laughs> I, I, I don't have the figures but um, it's a weird time to like be militant about like you know lower fidelity recording techniques and and tastes because like there has to be some kind of dividing line you know if taste makers or I don't know DJs are, are are listening to like 135 submissions a week well I get it it makes sense that if something sounds less professional you're just gonna you know you're just gonna toss it into the landfill like immediately directly right because like you have to you have to sift through things somehow so it's really 2021 is a terrible time to be a a person who has these lower fidelity tastes because like most people are just this isn't professional this you know and I get it I actually understand it but I can't help it you know I am I saying I would never go hi-fi no I would if I if I could find a way to do it and it was as good and I don't mind upgrading microphones you know but like I'm fairly certain that I would have to accept a lower quality product I know the average, I know most people wouldn't think of it that way. I know that, but I, I would know, you know? Anyway, so, got it by voices. It's, it's, they've warped my my mind. It was it was probably pre-inclined to be warped in this way anyway. But lo-fi 2021, no, everyone dismiss immediately. Dismiss. Dismiss. We don't have time for this. This isn't serious. Oh, it's just so serious. Oh, bye. Bye. <laughs>